Hi guys, welcome to Science Guy 80's first uh, video. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, so today we're looking at uh, basically what makes up the human body. And we're gonna start with um, animal cells, okay? So you should know, if you don't already, that um, animal cells or, you know, are the building blocks of life. Cells are the building blocks of life. Um, they're in everyone, every animal, they're in plants, okay um and they're tiny they're so 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 tiny that you can only see them with a microscope can't see them with the naked eye now by the end of this video you should know what the main structure or main structures of the animal cell are okay and we're going to look into that now so it's a very short video on this so we're looking at the structure of an animal cell now the main Things you need to know about the animal cell and there are three of them that you really do need to know okay are um, so starting with the nucleus okay so the nucleus of an animal cell controls the day-to-day -day activities of that cell it controls what it does okay in that nucleus in the nucleus is um, the genetic material okay uh, genetic material is stored in the nucleus Okay, the next part you need to know, so the other main part you need to know, and remember there are three, so the second one I'm going into is uh, cytoplasm. So cytoplasm is where all the chemical reactions happen in the cell, and cytoplasm, where those chemical reactions happen, basically it keeps the cell alive. Okay, so cytoplasm, chemical reactions happen, keeps the cell alive. Okay, very basic, quite easy to remember, hopefully, if I've explained it properly. Um, next part, cell membrane. Okay, so you've got a, the cell has a cell membrane, not a cell wall. So an animal cell has a cell membrane, not a cell wall. Okay, difference between an animal and a plant cell. So we're focusing on animal cell. So animal cells have cell membranes. Okay, now the cell membrane lets things in and it lets things out okay uh, it, it controls the substances that go in and out all right so technically it should stop anything bad getting in the cell sometimes that doesn't happen okay uh, like with viruses and stuff but the basic job of the cell membrane is to stop things or let things in or out or stop things getting in that are bad for it but again doesn't always happen that way. So, just to recap, and I've got a little diagram for you. So we're looking at the nucleus. So the nucleus, again, controls the cell. It controls the activities of the cell on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? It is also where the genetic material is stored, okay? Then we go on to the cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm is where chemical reactions, all the chemical reactions happen, okay? It keeps the cell alive. Very basic. Then we move on to the cell membrane. So the cell membrane lets things in and out of the cell. It controls what substances go in and out of the cell, okay? I think that's basically it. Okay, there are other parts to the cell okay like mitochondria and ribosomes but we'll go on to that another time into another video uh, those are the basics if you can get the basics you're laughing all right so remember basic animal cell a nucleus controls the cell cytoplasm is where the chemical reactions happen within the cell and keep it alive. And cell membrane, okay, the third one, it's like a holy trinity. Cell membrane lets sub, um, basically let substances in and out. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave comments uh, in uh, in the comment section, whether it's negative, positive. You know, any any criticism or any, you know, feedback would be great to improve the video. Um, yeah, if you liked it, share it. 
and hope to see you for another video. All right, cheers, bye.